Hi everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome to a new episode of Foundation Diaries. For today's video, we're going to be featuring the infallible 24-hour freshwear foundation. This foundation has been everywhere on TikTok and you see everyone just swipe it on their face and the coverage was amazing. So amazing that it's practically sold out everywhere and it's been a mission to try to get my hands on it. But I finally was able to get actually two shades so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my powder foundation routine as well as giving you the full details on this infallible foundation if you're new here and you don't know about foundation diaries it's basically where i try a foundation not only for a first impression one day wear test but i actually wear it for a five to seven days depending on the week and i share with you how the foundation behaves with different primers and different products just in general if you're excited about this video please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time i post and now without further ado let's get started okay so we're gonna start by prepping the skin and this is very very important especially because we are gonna be working with powder so whatever you put underneath is gonna determine the wear time and how in reality the powder is gonna wear on you I personally have combination skin which means my t-zone it's very very oily and then the outer parts of my face is kind of normal if anything they're a little dehydrated so on this parts of my face I like to hydrate with something a little bit thicker than whatever I'm gonna use in my t-zone as well as my pore area if you have a very very dry skin I would definitely recommend something like these two this is the Welda skin food this is a very thick dense cream but it's really really good if you have very dry skin the other one that I really enjoy is the Bobbi Brown vitamin and rich face base I've been having this for such a long time and I really really enjoy it it's very hydrating but at the same time it doesn't feel thick whatsoever now for more combination normal skin one that i've been enjoying lately is this one by one size this is the secure the blur makeup magnet primer i like to use this in my nose and my pore area and then i like to go with the vitamin enriched face base and the rest of my face just to make sure that my face that my skin is very nicely prepped if you have more of an oily skin type i would definitely recommend something like the smashbox photo finish primerizer this is a primer and a moisturizer in one but it's like a very nice gel consistency this doesn't help with pores or any it's smoothing anything it's mainly just to hydrate and the other one that i really enjoy is the wet and wild prime focus primer serum you could apply this all over the skin it does have a little bit of shimmer i personally don't mind especially when i'm going to be using powder foundations because normally powder foundations tend to be a little bit more full coverage and a little bit more mattifying so you could you can't really tell the little sheen that this one has but if that's something that bothers you well then maybe just something like the primerizer the other option would be just using a primer water or your setting spray or whatever mist that you use for to set your makeup you can actually use that to prime your skin as well once the skin is prepped then we're gonna go with concealer for today i'm gonna be applying this one by tarte this is a shape tape ultra creamy concealer in the shade 20s light sand and normally when you're gonna do powder foundation you want to do your creams before your powders so that's the reason why i'm applying concealer before actually applying foundation the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to set the under eye with powder and you want to do this before you actually go with the powder foundation because if you don't when you apply the powder foundation that powder is gonna automatically stick to your concealer and it tends to look a little bit darker and it just doesn't blend as nicely as if you set your concealer with your regular under eye setting powder and then go on with the um, powder foundation so i'm going to be using this one by one size and i'm just going to set the under eye i'm not going to apply it anywhere else um and this powder is also really really good so now that i have my skin prep my concealer is on now i can go in with the powder foundation for today we're going to be using the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation powder i have the shade 125 ivory buff and i have 140 golden vein 125 is the one that i've been using all these days but i do notice that it tends to look a little bit pink and it makes me look a little bit 
bit ashy so i went ahead with another shade which was the 140 golden beige but this one looks a little bit dark let me see so i'm gonna try it on my cheeks and see that one looks like it's okay and this is the other one so as you guys can see this one looks a little too light and this one looks a bit too dark we're gonna go in with the one that i've been using lately and then i could always add a little bit of the dark one on top just so that i could show you like coverage and whatnot because i'm afraid that if i go with the darker one my face is gonna look a little bit funny whereas with this one i can always apply bronzer or use the other one on top so i am gonna go with the shade 125 ivory buff for one side of my face i'm gonna use the sponge that comes with it and for the other side i'm gonna be using a brush just so that you could see the difference in coverage and how fast it applies look up from your telescope take me on this journey home i don't wanna wait no the infallible fresh wear foundation in a powders weightless texture gives a full coverage and natural matte finish that looks fresh for hour after hour the formula feels breathable and weightless leaving the skin feeling comfortable for up to 24 hours with the blurring effect and all day matte finish this powder even skin tone with no transfer it's waterproof heat proof and sweat proof available in 14 shades and suitable for all skin types even oily skin and acne prone skin this is what the foundation looks like i did go in with the light shade one side with the brush one side with the sponge and and then on top of it i did apply the other shade because my face does look a lot lighter on camera the 125 is the one shade that you guys are gonna see throughout the five days that i tested this out i'm gonna show you what it looks like with the iphone camera just so that you could see a little bit better you still are able to see where i did the swatch the first time but other than that this is what the makeup looks like and some parts it does look a little bit more orange than others it feels very lightweight even though i did apply a lot of foundation so i am gonna finish the rest of my makeup but in the meantime i'm gonna leave you guys with all the clips from all the other days that i tried this foundation so that you guys could see how the foundation behave with different primers and you know different days normally i do use my foundations for more than 10 to 12 hours a day so i think they're pretty intense wear tests so i'm gonna leave you guys with it and i'll be right back Look up from your telescope, take me on this journey home, I don't wanna wait no more Lay me down behind the moon, tell me you'll be on real soon, I don't wanna wait no more We could be dancing in the stars, we could be floating all the way As long as I'm safely in your arms and it don't really matter where we stay Don't stay expensive and which side do you think is not expensive like drugstores like um target makeup i would say 
the right side is target. The right side, which one? This side? Yeah. This side is target and this side. Why? It looks what? Yeah, the smoother. Okay. So this is how the makeup turned out. I've been having the foundation for a little bit longer than three hours now because I had to run some errands and then I had dinner. So I've been having it for a while and as you guys can see, it still looks pretty good. I am starting to get a little bit oily around these areas. Honestly, this is really good compared to many other foundations. Sitting in front of these lights tend to make me very oily super fast. This time, I'm not that oily. And like I said, I did have to run out and do a few things. So let's go over the pros and cons on this foundation. The first one would be coverage. And the coverage is really, really good. It's very lightweight on the skin it feels like you're not wearing anything it's also very transfer resistant as you guys saw during the week i there was days that i was wearing it for a long time even when i used other primers that were a lot more hydrating for my skin type i still noticed that the the foundation didn't transfer whatsoever obviously on the parts of my face where like it was extremely oily i did get a little bit of transfer but it wasn't nothing compared to many other foundations that i've tried the longevity this foundation lasts a very very long time on the skin as long as you hydrate your face definitely this foundation will last you a very very long time and like with many powder foundations it's really easy to apply that's another reason why i was very impressed because once I figured out how to use it, it was super easy to do my foundation in the morning. So in that sense, it's very easy. It's, ve it's very convenient. If you are the type of person that don't like liquid foundations, I think you will really enjoy this because you could just throw it in your purse and, you know, forget about it. Now let's go over the cons on this foundation, the whole touch-up situation, because normally you would think that since it's a powder it's very easy to touch up but actually i had a really really hard time on the first day that i tried this foundation i actually thought it was very very similar to the makeup forever velvet skin foundation and i did a comparison so normally that foundation i like to use it to touch up my makeup in the middle of the day so like i told you guys i am very oily on my t-zone so that makeup forever i would normally just blot and apply that on top of whatever foundation i'm wearing and it always looks good it just makes my whole no situation look like it's fresh i just apply my foundation because that's the only area of my face where I really lose foundation very easily. So I tried it with this one and that was not the case. It actually looked really, really bad to touch up with this product. Even on the days that I was just using this product alone, like I wasn't using any liquid foundation or anything like that, I would try to blot and apply a little bit more of this and it was really, really bad. So that's one of those things that this is definitely a con. This is not the type of foundation that you would apply and you can actually touch up throughout the day if you are very oily. The only thing I could recommend is probably just blot the oil and just leave it at that because you really don't lose any coverage. I know a lot of people like to use this kind of powder foundations to set their regular foundation. I actually tried it like that as well and I did not like the finish. So this is one of those products that you just want to use this and that's it. Another thing that I was not a fan is that it is a powder foundation so eventually once it starts to settle down on the skin, once you start wearing it for a couple hours, your pores tend to be a little bit more noticeable as well as your texture so if you are somebody that has a lot of texture this would definitely emphasize it like crazy because it is a powder foundation is it is full coverage so normally those foundations tend to not be so great for those kinds of things if you have dry patches or if you have a lot of um acne or anything like that this won't be for you now that i'm talking about the acne that's another thing they describe this foundation as being suitable for oily skins and also people that have acne during that week that i was wearing it i started to break out really really bad for me personally this foundation did cloud off my pores this is the only thing that i use different normally when i'm doing any foundation reviews i try not to use any new skincare all the primers that i use during this wear test are normally things that i know that they work and i know they're good for my skin that they don't they're not gonna break me out or anything like that so the only different thing that i used during the week was 
this foundation and it did break me out so that is something to have in mind because I don't consider myself to have acne prone skin or very very sensitive skin in that sense like I really hardly ever break out due to this my breakouts are more like hormonal or you know if I'm touching my face too much but unfortunately this one did cloth my pores and did break me out so that's another thing that I was not a huge fan. Another con on this foundation is definitely the packaging. And I talked about this in my other L'Oreal video when I did the review for the H. I think it's called H Perfect. With the powder blushes or whatnot. The packaging is actually not the greatest because the plastic is very thin. It breaks very, very easily as well as the little... Um, closing thing right here so if you are going to be throwing this in your purse you would need to be careful because it's going to break on you like all the other l'oreal products and powders that i have in this exact same packaging they all break from this part if you are going to be throwing this in your purse to be careful because the powder is very finely milled it's not a powder foundation that it feels hard or that it feels that you know you can hit it and nothing's gonna happen no this one feels very smooth very velvety very buttery which means that if you hit it if you drop it or if you have multiple things in your purse and this thing breaks it's gonna go everywhere having said that with the whole powdery thing even when i'm getting ready in my table and i'm using the sponge i do get powder everywhere so that's how buttery this powder is you need to like literally just dab it and then apply it on your skin another thing that i didn't like whatsoever is the shade range so they only have 14 shades and the shades are very strange i have 125 and 140 and the shade that's in between these two i believe is 130 but that one is a beige color which means it has more of that pinkish undertone and those normally don't work for me so that's another thing to have in mind they only have 14 shades it is pretty full coverage so if you don't get your correct shade you could tell like when I was applying it, you guys were able to tell between my chi my jawline and my and my neck that it was not my shade because they're so off. And also since it's a powder, it tends to look a little bit grayish when it's not your shade. Overall, I think the foundation, it's nice. I think it has a beautiful coverage. It does last a very long time. Depending on your skin, depending on your skin needs, obviously you have to work with it. Not everyone is gonna be able to just swipe it in their face and be able to go. There's definitely a learning curve when it comes on to this product the first time i tried it like i told you i didn't like it i hate the way they feel I feel very dry on my skin i felt like it looked cakey and everything but as i used it the other days and prepped my skin and whatnot i was able to get a really beautiful finish out of the foundation i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comments if you guys tried it already or if you are waiting for it to come back in stock thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye